Well, Scunny fans, what an absolutely uh, awesome day. I can't think of the word to describe it. It's a game, it had everything, bar a result, it would appear. Yeah, the game's been abandoned with uh, six minutes left to play of uh, injury time. Um, to be fair, at the at the end of the game, nobody seemed to know what was happening. The referee didn't <laughs> he didn't liaise with the managers, and at one point it looked like Bux, Bux, Buxton fans and players thought they'd actually won the match. That the, the score would stand. We got to find out on Umberside Radio coming home that the, the actual game had been abandoned, so it will have to be played again. Um, it, it was quite... I've never experienced anything like that before. Um, I, I can't say about the weather, because we experienced it at Curzon Ashton the other week when it should have been called off and wasn't. Uh, perhaps it's a get-out-of-jail-free for Scunthorpe, because... Um, particularly first half, we, we, we weren't there today... Um, I mean, maybe that's a bit harsh to say. I, I think they come and did a job on us. In all honesty, I think they had a goalkeeper and 10 defenders. That's what it looked like at, at most of the time. And we really, really struggled to break them down. We was peppering high balls in, particularly in that second half. We was peppering high balls in, but there was coming to nothing because they had giant players. They was making a, a wall uh, across the area. It, it, was, it was a struggle. We couldn't seem to get round the back of them. Um, the players didn't seem to have the uh, the, the same uh, drive that they had uh, uh, against uh, South Shields, uh, particularly the first half against South Shields. It, it's, it seemed to be uh, a miss. Um, so, yeah, I mean, I think uh, uh, if I was going to pick a man of the match today, um, I would probably, I, I was struggling. I mean, to be fair, you you would probably have to give the man of the match to their, their keeper, to be fair, in the second half. He made a lot, quite a few saves from us when we when we did get some efforts into the box. Um, but I, I thought they were a very, very uh, physical team that w were hard to break down. And and I think they came with a game plan. Though they had players throwing themselves on the floor time went, I don't know how many yellow cards the referee, I lost count. Uh, the, the amount of yellow cards that he gave out, it was unbelievable. We had the sending off as well of one of their players. Um, it, it, the, the game had everything. Um, even I even got me pie and mash. I had to go into the Doncaster, the, ask the stewards to let me go through the Doncaster Road. I had to go fetch them because they weren't doing it in our, in our stand. And I've got to say it was very nice. Uh, and it would appear now if we've got to have a rematch, obviously I have to have the pie and mash again because it's a rematch. It's not counted today. I've got to, so I've got to say I, I'll have to go through the the dilemma of all that again and have and have to rescore it. Uh, the, the pie and peas. I've got a, a report was fantastic. There's been quite a debate going on about the football and how important food is to the game. Well. I think at the moment we've got fantastic food and we've had some fantastic football. It's like heaven. Glanford Park's become like heaven in terms of food and football. You can't fault it. Um, yeah, uh, so I, I don't know when the replay will be. I presume it'll probably be a Tuesday night. We'll have to keep an eye out on the news. Um, uh, other things, uh, the new players that came in, um, I don't think they did bad. Uh, I'd, to be fair, by the time the rain that came in for the last sort of fifteen minutes, it became impossible to play football. The the uh, drainage, we all got absolutely soaked. There was people coming out of the game and having to take their shoes off. It was, it was over your ankles. The water, the the, the drains just couldn't cope with the, the 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 rain. It was unbelievable. It really was. Um, but yeah, but the game's been abandoned, so no points. It's a get out of jail free for Scunthorpe United. I should imagine the Buxton, fa Buxton fans will be pretty annoyed. But that said, they were quite. Ha I suppose they were quite happy when they thought they'd won it and been abandoned. They were quite happy with the game being abandoned when they thought they'd got the points. But they probably won't be very happy that uh, it's been ab abandoned and they've got to make a trip back here on a Tuesday night and play the game again. When they were when they were winning, it's not an ideal situation, but 
and Scunthorpe United can't be blamed for any of that. Nobody knew what was happening at the end of the game. The referee, as I say, the referee didn't speak to anybody. There was mayhem in the uh, in the tunnel going off. Everybody was trying. It, 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 it just absolute mayhem. Nobody seemed to know what was happening. Is this inexperienced officials? Uh, I mean, at this level. I'm sure it's hard to get people to uh, go into refereeing, and and probably a lot of the younger referees that are coming through. We seem to they seem to be all younger referees that are learning the trade, um, and it's not. I've got to say, I don't like criticising referees, because um, it's not something that I would ever want to have done. You know, it, it's a it's a thankless task, so, and somebody's got to do it for us to all be able to enjoy the games. Well, you've got to. You've certainly got to question the standard of refereeing sometimes, certainly in this league. But we have to get used to that. So anyway, I don't know what's going to happen. But up the iron. Take care, everybody. Bye.